Disc brakes don't have brake shoes. They use brake pads. Disc brakes don't have drums. They use discs. The discs are often called rotors because they rotate. Now, straddling the disc is going to be a device called a caliper, and it fits over the disc like so, and it's holding the pads just in place. When you step on the brake pedal, you create hydraulic pressure. The pads are squeezed against the disc. The friction slows the disc down. The car stops. Now, while disc brakes offer superior braking power and they're a relatively simple system, there are two symptoms indicating problems that people often miss. The first is, if you look at your brake pads, there's pad material and then there's a backing plate. When the pad material eventually wears down, people are stepping on the brake pedal and are squeezing the backing plate against the rotors. That can do an awful lot of damage to the rotors. So the telltale sign of that is that when you go and you're driving along and you step on your brakes, the car seems like it's trying to pull to one side. You get this pulling sensation, you may also get a loud grinding noise. So if you get that, it's time to stop and check and see what your paths look like. Another problem is that many people believe that these discs can go out of round or that deposits from the pad material can form high spots on the disc and what happens is whether it's out of round or it has high spots each time the high spot goes through the caliper where the pads are it gives a little tug or a little yank. The result of that is that as you're driving along and you step on the brakes you get a sensation of mm, 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 each time the wheel goes around. If you get that sensation your rotors either need to go to a machine shop to be resurfaced or they need to be replaced.